Good morning, guys. Another early morning at Barbell Brigade. But we got our one of two shoots that we need to do for our new collection, which is what I'm wearing right now. We got a, oh, this waterproof jacket. It's thick, got nice lining. We got a dope rubber stamp. And then I got the rubber stamps on this side, branding. So we got a couple shoots and we'll be shooting uh, that stuff on the inside. Because as you guys know, everything we make, we try to make it as dope as it is on the streets or in casual, but also it's got to fit in the gym. So we're going to take some gym shots. All right, here is our new outerwear collection. I'm so excited about them. I kind of broke my own rule. And my own rule is I try not to wear any of the clothes until after the shoot because I want it to look brand new in the photos and look crisp and clean to really show what it's all about. But some of these things, I got so excited, I jumped the gun. I thought, man, this collection is so dope. So I wore it and I had to wash it. But the cool thing is we made a really high quality that um, you can't even tell that some of them are washed. Let me know if you could tell. So right here we got the two lightweight windbreaker jackets. Um, this one is actually black camo. If you look at it, it's not just black, so it gives uh, black a little bit more texture. We got the patch label, and then we got Dominate Humbly down there, which is our motto. I mean, this comes in the black camo and red. This red one pops like crazy, I love that one. We also got this puffy jacket where it's extra cold. So you can stay warm and we got the rubber patch branding here keep it clean we didn't want to put too much on this one in case you know some people they want to rock barbell but they want to keep it nice and like casual and low-key and not have something go, bah, 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 bah. so we made something that was just like hey if you want to rock barbell we want to keep it subtle got you covered then we got two flannels actually so this is a thick like wool flannel we got our branding down there and this comes in a like coyote or a sand and an olive green and also the same one back here so you can tell i wore these ones already because uh well number one is wrinkled as a motherfucker <laughs> and the sticker's not on there this one is the sticker's still on i haven't worn this one yet just because i think i already have so many black flannels and so when i saw how this mustard one came out i'm like damn this one's tight so i had to wear this but look the collar is still crisp after being washed still looks really good and these are a little bit more towards the casual side. Obviously, it's gonna be harder to find a reason to wear a flannel inside the gym when you're training. Uh, but we wanted something for, you know, people that like go hiking or whatever and you wanna layer up. So this is, the outerwear collection is more of like a layering system. So what I'm wearing out here, this is waterproof, right? So, and it's also thick and it has like the fuzzies and it has like the cool phone pockets and it has all these like, like little drawstring cord to keep you nice and, and uh, snug so no cold air gets in. But if this isn't warm enough, then you would wear something like this, like the puffy underneath. Or if you need to layer up, you could wear a flannel underneath. So this whole collection is made to be layered, whether it's like two, three, four layers or just one or two, depending on the weather. We got the anorak. This one is uh, actually not a new item, but we're bringing it back because the last time we dropped it, it sold out in literally like 10 minutes. This guy and this guy, they both sold out in like 10 minutes. Then we're bringing these two thin anoraks. So these ones are both packable. It's the kind that you can pack into a little thing and you can put away. So these are really good for like quick camping trips when you're scared it might rain, but you don't want to bring an umbrella. You can bring these guys and then in case it rains, you just pop it out and wear it. So we got this smoke color one, got this green color one. Then we got a couple of uh, quarter zip hoodies. This one you could tell I washed already because there's not only is there Fawn's hair on here, but uh, I'll probably Tyka played with it. And then we got the gray one. So these are all made for layering. You could wear this quarter zip up, put it underneath the anorak, or you could wear it underneath this anorak, or you could wear the quarter zip underneath this jacket, underneath this jacket, or the quarter zip underneath any of these jackets. Um, oh, also, we have another smoke uh, anorak made out of the same material in case people like the anorak and the packing concept. We have it all here, but this is the new outerwear collection. I'm so fucking excited for it for all of my people that have been like, yo, Barbell, I got every single tee and hoodie that you guys have, but now I need some outerwear and we got you covered from whether it's just thin to where you need to just protect yourself from the breeze or a light sprinkle to this you can straight up wear this in the snow and go snowboarding we got you completely covered the demon justin are here to film 
so what's the game plan? Am I just gonna wear different ones for different exercises? Pretty much. What's uh, the first one you want me to wear? What's that? What's the first one you want me to wear, you think? Um, I wanna get you in this. The black camel first? Yeah. Okay. And then uh, maybe shoot you outside. Okay. Uh, doing some exercises. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to do my own workout? Can't, huh? We can. We can? Yeah. Okay. Uh, if we can, just as a warm up, get yeah. you to do some like, quick stuff. Oh, okay. And then uh, we'll follow you through. Okay, cool. But first, gotta take a pre workout. Get pre workout, get things going. Mata Packer. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, top secret. We're also developing a special formula creatine. And you know we come correct because this thing is way different than anything else that's on market. We're gonna come correct with a dope creatine too, so stay tuned for that. Just finished shooting the content for the new launch and I was just messing around, so I had a... Uh... Just finished shooting content for the new launch and since the team is so awesome, aka Justin and Adeem, they allow me to mainly do my training and they try to shoot around it, which is cool. So I actually got to learn today and today I was uh, learning how to like strike but immediately uh, defend. And I was working with Ron and this is what we were working with. And the gloves actually look really good with the new launch. Like the whole, the whole brand is coming together really good. We're taking shots of uh, the pre-workout, the jacket, the gloves, and they all look really, really good together. So this is uh, where we're shooting. So you can see uh, Ron's immediately, I throw it fine a kick. I throw uppercut, he fires a kick, hook, fires a kick, uppercut. Just everything I'm doing, he immediately like fires a kick right after. Because uh, I have a tendency of, please don't write these notes down if you ever find me in the streets and want to fight me. But I have a tendency of throwing a punch and then it's called admiring or punches. Like when you throw it and you just leave it out there. Because now this whole thing is open so you're supposed to go boom and immediately come back. So one of the things that I leave open is my body. Like I throw my punch out and then now my entire body is open. So he's practicing making me like turn that back in so I can block the kick. And that's what we're working on. But now I get to go to my favorite, my second favorite part of the day. My favorite, favorite part of the day is when I go home and hang out with Taika and Ma Bear and we do a lot of CUNY at home stuff. My second favorite part of the day, it doesn't happen all the time, is being able to work with Ma Bear. And Ma Bear is gonna be in our Barbell Brigade meetings now. So you're gonna be seeing her do a way more content at the gym with apparel, with a pre workout, with everything. And I can't, can't wait to see her. Ma Bear. Hi, Ma Bear. Hey! Hey! Where are you coming from? I just came from the gym, shot some really cool content over there of this new collection that I can't tell you about. Who's, who's releasing the collection? Barbell Brigade, have you heard of them? I think so. But I don't know. Have you heard of them? Where'd you get that sh Where'd you guys get those shirts? From some other company. <laughs> okay. <laughs> from some Chinese Alibaba company that ripped us off and sell it for cheaper? Yeah. Son of a bitch. So I just got home early, as you guys can see, which is a really, really good thing because I'm rarely home when it's nice and bright and I still have the whole day ahead of me where I get to enjoy the view of the backyard and like, you know, just watch the trees blow in the wind. It's very, very rare. Unfortunately, I still got work to do and so when I'm home Now is the time to come to the truth of whether or not the Tasmanian devil the tornado also known as Taika is That's telling me I need to pump some gas um, Is tell is, uh, is If he's awake or not because if he's awake I gotta figure out a way to bypass him because the minute he sees me although it makes my heart so good and he goes Poppy Makes me feel so good. I'm like, oh shit, how do I lose you? Because I still got work to do. I got a good like three hours worth of work to do. So let's see what he's up to. Hopefully he's sleeping. All right, so he is wide awake, playing with both his volleyball and basketball, checking our security cameras. And uh, so now I gotta figure out how to sneak in. Maybe there's no other way but to go through the storm. But he is cute as hell, so maybe I'll go and hang out with them and I'll figure out a way to 
get some more work done. Hey, Ma. Mama, Mama. Mama not here as Papa, you crazy? What are you up to, mister? Oh, no. Did I get that stuck in the door? Ay, ay, ay. Got it stuck in the door. I got one of my hand wraps. Okay, there we go. There we go. Hey, Fanny. Where are you up to? Just causing a freaking mess, huh? No. I see all of that. I see your. Yeah. What's that? Yeah. It's not there? No, it's not a mess. He likes it like that. Oh, it's his art? Yeah. Okay. Everything is a pattern. Grandma say everything is a pattern, which is true. He's very artistic. So while Grandma distracted him, I was able to sneak into the guest room. A little bit and thank goodness for extra bedrooms now the only other thing I have to dodge is um I just heard them starting construction in the back where they have an actual saw like right here we're going I just want to get a little bit of rest so that I can be effective at my work make better JK videos bar better barbell stuff and uh, I just need like 30 minutes 30 minutes, some coffee, and I'm ready to get back to work. That's all I need. So hopefully I can get that. Um, what I'm gonna try to do is play some white noise and hopefully it covers up any noise that I got going on back there. So to all my friends out there, when, uh, when you have kids, the main thing isn't, I think the main resource that people need is sleep. That's the number one thing. I think even more so than money or, or maybe even time is if, because for me at least personally, okay, if I have a good eight, nine hours of solid sleep, I can do anything, you know? I can work, I could pack 10 hours worth of work into five hours because I'm so productive and make the money that I need or save the time I need. But when I am not well rested, I can only take pre-workout so much and like maybe power through a good three days. And then I'm like, ugh, I'm wilting. And at the end of my marathon training right now, I am wilting because my body's exhausted, my mind's exhausted, and I'm not, my sleep is exhausted. So I try to get some white noise and go to sleep. So in the middle of working, I get this cute ass text from Mom Bear, and she was like, Someone's missing out. And it's a picture of Ma Bear. Taika and grandma at the park playing and I'm like oh don't tempt me you know I'll come and then I don't think she replied fast enough so I was like fuck it I'm leaving so I got on the bike got with Lil Fawny and we're heading over the Bell family's gonna join mama Taika and grandma and hopefully I don't crash but because I'm vlogging riding and walking the dog but that's the only way I know how to live Cause ADD for life, motherfucker. And there they are. Duke. <laughs> Mama. Grandma. Come on. Oh shit. Oh, I almost crashed. Oh Jesus. Oh. Come on. Hi mama. The mama's oh. Hi mama. Hey, they're good. They kept looking over there. I'm like, there's no way Papa's not gonna be cute. There's no way. There's no way. No way. You be kidding. Was that right? Was that right? Was that right? <laughs> you be kidding. You be kidding. You look cute. I like your little flower. Oh, he gave it to me. Aww. He picked it for me. <laughs> He's walking fun now. Good job, Taika. Look at how pretty my mom looks. Yeah, your mom looks really pretty. With her hat. She looks classy. Yeah, it's a classy woman over there. That's a classy lady. What in the world is going on? What in the world? Taika, you're not gonna try to put Fawn down the slide, are you? 
It's not gonna go down the slide, you crazy. Why are they gonna go down the slide of Taika? Oh, <laughs> oh no! Taika, no! Taika, you gotta let go! Did you let go? <laughs> oh, thank God. Oh. <laughs> dinner time, and today I'm in charge of making dinner. So we have a bunch of produce. Trying to figure out which one's gonna expire first. These guys look pretty good. And I don't know, I feel like the leafy greens expire the quickest, so probably make these guys some collard greens with some garlicos. That's the proper way to say it in Spanish. Huh? Is it is it my garlicos way? Let me this is an official interview for all the people trying to learn Spanish on this channel. What? Because she tells you she hates it and you purposely put it in her face. Ew! <gasps> Why did you do Your that? Your essay son just shanked me. That's what you get for falling on the Don't bike. Don't do that. Your essay son just straight shanked me, babe. Yeah. What do you have to say for yourself? Good. He's protecting his grandma's privacy. What the hell? Look at this. Snitches get stitches, fool. I didn't snitch. You were putting her face on blast. Can you be a good Mexican and do my laundry? I'm He thinks he's funny. I wish. <laughs> it is too. Yeah, it is too pretty. Oh my goodness. Your jokes are just not funny. I don't have to live in this situation. Your jokes are. Your jokes are really not funny. Why not? I thought Mexicans have good sense of humor. They're the ones laughing at all the comedy shows. Because we're nice. And we're laughing at good jokes. Nah. Not these racist things. Nah. Is your mouth okay? Yeah. What did it hit? I think you gave me a fat lip. So I'm gonna call the cops. Yeah, call the cops. Me vale pura madre. Call the cops when you see Tupac. Grab the clocks when you see Tupac. I love Tupac. Hell yeah, you do. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Are you okay? Ma, uh, so we just came up with a good comeback and yeah, you know what? The people that do the best laundry are the Chinese people. What'd you guys say about that? They're actually the Koreans, okay? Because they open the new laundry mat and that's the new generation. How about that? Is that true? Is that true? Yeah, Korean laundry mat. It's in all the movies. Hey, well, well, Haha, ha, you're Chinese. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> ha, Taika, you're Chinese. No, uh, he's Mexican. I'll take him. He's cute. I know, I'll take him. I love that no, he's, he's Chinese. Chinese. No, he's Chinese. He's Chinese. I love it that he's Mexican yeah. and Chinese. I know, he's so cute. Chinese are the best. Yeah. Mexicans are the best. Yeah. Oh, wow. I got him to say it. Oh. No, why are you going to marry your freaking stinky ass? Oh, bro. <laughs> You want me to knock your teeth out? No, you've already done it. It's still there. Fake teeth. <laughs> See? That's the reason why you can't do anything good around the house. You know what I mean? You have a good idea and you want to cook the dinner for the family and guess what? It backfires. It turns into an interracial war, right? All my peeps out there that can relate. Where all you're trying to do is do something good, you know? Like, you know, I just want to vacuum the house a little bit. Why do you have to call me a bastard out of nowhere? You know what I'm talking about? You were the one that started it. I whoa, 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 why are you eavesdropping all of a sudden? Why, 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 why are you eavesdropping? I was just talking to the people. I was just talking. You don't want to hear bullshit? Yeah, no, of course you want they to don't. Hear the truth. That's why they listen to me. I'm giving them the truth. They call me the preacher man. I'm giving them the accent. truth. Why are you slowly getting an accent? What the hell's going on? Are you giving me the preacher man? Well, they call me the preacher man, you know? <laughs> Chopped up the garlic. My favorite part, and my bread bought this uh, Trader Joe's balsamic rosemary beef steak tips. Sounds really bomb, and it's good macros too. 20 grams of protein with only 13 grams of fat. It's pretty good. So we're about to put this on the pan. Taiko, why are you crying? He hasn't napped all day, so everything oh, he's is grumpy. literally a freaking disaster. So oh my god, he's good again. <laughs> 
Ooh. Wait a minute. Wait. What's that? Wait a minute. We're going to count. You guys are going to learn. Look, what number is this? Huh? One, two, three. No. Too bad. Too bad. Looks pretty good, right? Look at that. Ooh. So I try to get a medium rare. So probably leave it on for one more minute and then just take it off and let the juices reabsorb itself. Finished cooking up some collard greens. One question I had, I always have for white people. So some of these guys were actually down here, right? How do you guys get it? Cause I'm looking like that. If I go with my, if I go with my white tools, let's see what start with the spoon. Oh no, All right? Get the fork. Oh no. And then, uh, I can't put that back. Or even like a, even an extreme white tool. The straw definitely doesn't work, right? Or you can't really try to suck it up. You better wash all that. What are you doing? Oh. At least that's what, I guess that's what works. So, okay, now I know how white people do it. So white people get the veggies that fall through the stove with a straw, but I just go like this. Let me see. Show me the number. Show me the number. I can't so, see the number. To all my uh, my people, Seven. you don't have to use straws to pick up the veggies anymore, okay? You could use chopsticks. I know all of you guys love sushi, you guys know how to use chopsticks now. Bon appetit, steak and collard greens. Hey, don't sip on my rice. And the rice with the veggies that mama put in there. Hey, hey, What's hey. the inspiration between, uh, behind putting all the veggies in the rice? Oh, I just, I'm like, I want to eat more veggies in our diet. Yeah. And then um, I want him to eat more veggies. Yeah. And for him to eat veggies like carrots and stuff, they should be a little bit softer. Oh, true. Not because he can't chew it, because he can. Yeah. It's just he's so damn picky, I have to mush it up into the rice. Yeah. But he's eating his veggies. Ha <laughs> ha. Joke's on you. Ha <laughs> ha. Hey, sister. He's not a loser, he's a winner. Just cleaning up around the house right now. Oh my god, I'm not wearing a mat. Oh, good thing I'm vlogging above the counter. Because okay, mom does pants are right here. Woohoo! Jump up and down. <laughs> oh, you're good. You've done this before. <laughs> yeah, we're about to get ready to watch a movie in bed. Cause we put Taika to sleep early today cause he was, you saw how grumpy he was. He didn't take a little nap. So uh, we put him to sleep. I actually wouldn't even try to. He was just getting his last milk in bed and he knocked out. So get some Ma Bear Pa Bear time tonight and uh, maybe catch a cool movie. Let us know some uh, movie recommendations you guys like that are recently good on Netflix or on HBO and Except for Amazon. We, saw it. we saw Parasite, yeah, let us know in the free movie section, what's good? In the free movie section. Good night.